just want to know your introduction as well uh, just for uh, 10 to 20 seconds your name and your background and how do you know about mail source so anyone can take the lead Anyone like Arun or Kundan, Purva, Anuradha? Yeah. Uh, hi, myself, uh, Kudan here. So I have 10 plus years of experience in integration, uh, TIPCO suit of products. And uh, I'm currently working on banking projects. So I just, uh, uh, I, I have attended uh, VSOF training maybe uh, 10 years back. So I thought of converting to or add, add up Millsoft related skill in my resume. And I just wanted to have some hands-on experience as well. So that's why I started this uh, Mills of Training. Good to hear from that. And welcome to me. Yep, thank you. I think oh, you are trying to speak at Burwag. We can't hear your voice. Yeah, actually, I am still trying to join by a laptop. But I can okay. surely go ahead with the introduction. I am Purva Pagaria. I have 10 years of uh, experience in financial industry. Uh, I'm working as business systems analyst. I would like to learn about MuleSoft because we are planning integration with multiple systems in the banking industry, uh, mainly Salesforce, uh, Baker Hill loan application. So I would like to learn the integration and the API connection, how to set that. Okay, yeah. good to hear, everyone. welcome to me. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Anuradha or Arun? Or Ashok or uh, Malikarjun. Yeah, just you can introduce yourself. Just your name and your background. Yeah, myself Hello. Arun. Arun. Yeah. yeah, myself Arun. So I have eight years of experience in uh, e-commerce platform, and uh, I heard about uh, Mulsaft, but uh, clearly I don't know that how to do. So today I have to know that as in demo course how it will be useful for those things. And the early days I worked as in Power BI under TIPCO's platform also. Even though it is uh, Mulsaft also is uh, more advantage to add up on the, my uh, resume and the future explore more things. That's all. Yeah, no problem, Arun. And we are here to assist you. So welcome to me. Yeah, thank you. No uh, Hi, my name is Anuradha. Uh, I'm having 11 years of experience. My experience is totally into TIPCO suite of products, both into in TIPCO BPM, uh, BPM and BW, that's integration and also business process management. So uh, uh, since many of the organizations are now preferring um, rules of over TIPCO, so I also want to move to Millsoft. I had a very brief kind of a online training many years back. Uh, so I just want to move to Millsoft. That's why I joined this training. Oh, yeah. it's good to hear, Amrata, and welcome to me. So I think uh, we can uh, let's get started on the content. So yeah, first, let me share my screen. So before going to the MuleSoft, right? So I will explain one gen generalized example to you all guys. So yeah, if you can understand that example, right? So maybe we can uh, correlate with the real tech because here it's a combination of having the experience guys as well as the, some of the members who is learning from the scratch level. So it, it is better to start from the basics only. Yeah, it is not related to the Mule. It's kind of a generalized example I'm telling. So once you can correlate this type of example with the Mule, right? You can easily understand how exactly the mule is working on the real time scenarios and how it is getting integrated with the different domains like e-commerce or we can say banking insurance and healthcare so first i will start with one basic one it's a generalized one so yeah how uh, we are uh, well we all uh, know right uh, just we will communicate with each other regarding one of the purposes like it's maybe in business or generalized topics so let i will take the two persons okay here an example Let's name it as Purva, uh, one of the person, and another person is, uh, let's make it as an 
Kundan. But here the criteria is only only sorry. so only English okay but another criteria is Okay, so if you can see these two examples, right? If Puro wants to communicate with Kundan or Kundan wants to give back the response to Puro, so is it possible to communicate? Uh, anyone you can uh, tell the answer for yeah, this uh, uh, example? Yeah, without translation, it is not possible to integrate yeah. with each other. Yeah. Before going to the translation, right? Uh, we have the multiple options. I mean, the options are either Purva needs to learn the French or Kundan needs to learn the English. It's kind of a generalized example. The possibilities we can speak. So if we go with the first option, like either of the person learning the uh, opponent's languages, definitely we can able to make the communication successfully. But let's say in a broader way. In future, we have a we need to communicate with the multiple people who are having the different types of languages. So it is not highly impossible to learn each and every language in order to communicate with the each person so in order to overcome these type of scenarios right let's have a mediator or we can call it as a translator simple so which makes our lives very easy it's kind of a generalized example guys it's not related to the mule just try to understand the basic concept of how exactly these type of scenario we are handling then we can correlate with the mule so it's kind of we can call it as a mediator or translator so what exactly this will do means first it will receive the language from the person who is trying to speak with Kundan in English and it will convert to French as per expectations so the communication what Purva is trying to speak right it will convert it to the expected language from Kundan and it will send the or it will convey the same to Kundan and it will receive the response from Kundan and it will send back to Purva in English so in this scenario right in future if we are getting hundreds of people also no need to worry because translator or mediator can take care of conversions okay uh, any doubts uh, till now on the generalized example like arun kundan anuradha ashok chinna malika yeah it's fine now we understand it's fine, right? yeah which kind of a basic example yeah uh, i think uh, for remaining people i will take it as a no then we then just correlate with the real time example. So yeah, today uh, I think from children to old age people, everyone are fabricated. I mean, uh, very much interested in doing the shopping. So yeah, if you can see for the 90s kids or 1980s, so there is no such e-commerce site. So everyone wants to be go to the uh, offices or we can say stores or physically. But nowadays everything has been improved in a software technology like e-commerce sites. So just i will take it as a one of the example of amazon so whenever i open this site right i can see able to search bar so when i want to buy any of the product like iphone 15 within fraction of seconds okay within fraction of seconds i can able to get the related content with the different specifications like prices and the colors and what i can say it's a technical specification all this stuff if I don't want to buy this phone or if I want to search for another thing, like for example, I am not interested to buy this phone. I am interested in the Samsung. Let's say an example. In the fraction of seconds, we will get this type of content. 
So as a generalized customer, I can able to understand like just I need to log in and enter to search for particular content and it will get displayed. But in a technical perspective, we need to understand in a different way. How come it is possible whenever I'm sending one request to the particular web form, how it is getting displayed with the different contents. It's not related to Samsung and iPhone. If you want to buy the product which are available across the world, it can able to give you the results, accurate results, how it is possible. So it may be combination of having the multiple technologies are not highlighting the mules of it may be combination of having multiple technologies like front end and database and we can say for Java language or Python. Additionally, some integration languages like Tipco, mules of Dell mobile like that, but by only mule, I will explain in the third phase. But how come the integration is taking a bit major role in these type of real time scenarios? I will explain. You. Similar, the same example only, no need to worry because why I am giving this example is just for your better understanding. If you go for the real time as well, there is nothing uh, rocket says behind this one. Simple, uh, for example, I am a customer, right? What I will do is myself, Sai. We can call it as a cust uh, customer. What I have done is just I have logged into them. Just have logged into a web page called Amazon, or we can install in our mobile. Web page, or app. Simple. Up to here, we are clear what we have done till now. So, just apart from that, what I have done is I have sent one additional request. That is nothing but an I am interested to buy an iPhone 15. So, what I have done is, I have sent one request here. It's kind of a request received from the customer. request received from the customer. So what exactly the Amazon will do is it will receive the request and it will directly not connect it to the any of the other systems like Apple or Samsung or LG or any other XYZ system. First it will route this request. I mean it will receive the request from customer and it will route the custom sorry route the request to the one of the integration layer. So that integration layer, let's call it as a mule sort because currently we are in a mule uh, training, right? Let's call it as a middleware layer or we can call it as an integration layer. It's nothing but a mule soft. Okay. So what mule soft will do is just it will accept the request which is received from the Amazon. And one more thing, technically, we need to know the two terminologies, which is very, very important in the interview perspective as well, or whenever you are interacting to the client in order to get for uh, business, especially for BS, right? We need to understand the two, two technical terms. One is source system and one is target system. So how can you under identify its and source or its and target? I will explain you. So simply, MuleSoft will... accept the incoming request received from source system okay so how we can identify the source and target means simple whenever we are receiving the content to the mule right whenever we are receiving i repeat once again whenever we receive the content from mule sorry from the sorry, whenever we are receiving the content right that is nothing but a mule soft i mean currently we are receiving the content from the amazon so Amazon application is nothing but a source system. From the mule, whenever we are sending the request to the another system, so sending the request to the another system is nothing but a target. So the mules of main major responsibilities are just accept the incoming request from the source system and just we need to transform the message if it is required, meaning first example I have told you, right, English to French like that, whenever the target system is expecting in another language 
but source system is sending in the other languages we need to transform the content second step third step we need to do is we need to handle the errors for example if you are logging to the gmail unfortunately you are given the wrong password will it be able will it be allow you to send an email or will it be available uh, able to access the mail no right it will stop here itself and it will throw an error message like password is incorrect like that these type of error handlings on the routing messages as well as the transforming the data the major three steps we need to take care while we are developing a mule soft application so simple here just we will receive the content from the source system then based on the source system content and based on the requirement we can able to know the what is target like purva said it can it can be on salesforce or sap hana or we can say uh work at or anything so currently based on the request right it may be an apple because iphone 15 is an apple product right so currently our target system is apple so here we call it as an apple target system so simple it will receive the request from the mule to apple and it will send the response to the mule and this response we need to send it back to the amazon source system and it will get displayed to the customer so in between there may be chance of having the lot of technologies like front end angular or java database like that but no need to bother all this stuff just we are here to integrate between two applications okay so the main role of our uh, sorry the main responsibility of a mules of developer is to simply we need to accept the request from the source system and we need to handle the errors if required it may be data issues or it may be login issues it may be any other stuff like uh, structural issues and third step is we need to transform the data as per the target system expectations and simply we need to receive the response and we need to propagate the same to the source system so this is all about the how mulesoft is play, playing a major role in the integration platform and what are the responsibilities that we need to take care as a mulesoft developer so just i will take a one minute pause here so uh, you can uh, guys you can have any doubts you can ask me uh, i will uh, if, if there is no doubts then i can proceed further for, further on the next steps Arun Kunda, Namrata Ashok, Malik Arjun, Purva, Chinna. It's fine, sir. Uh, yeah. What about you guys, Anurata Ashok, Purva, Chinna? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, right? Yeah. It's fine, it's yeah. fine. Okay, good. Yeah. So, thank you so much. And coming to the third phase, so. So we, we should not only learn about the mule and it's working, we should also be and understand the market significance because here we are all, uh, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, don't take it wrong. So yeah, we are all techies, I know, but the main role is just we need to understand our professional go, uh, growth as well. So why only mules of there is no other languages that has been competition for mule. Yes, we have a multiple technologies in the integration perspective, but why only mule that is our agenda because the first agenda we need to understand the basic concept second agenda we need to understand the significance of the mule how it is working as a major role in the in integration perspective third thing we need to understand in the business perspective if we learn the mule what are the opportunities why only mule we have other technologies so why only iphone we have a different phones but due to some security reasons and due to some interface we prefer like that why only mule we need to understand more we have a tipco as an integration <clears throat> of technologies and Dell Boomi and MuleSoft and etc. But why only Mule? We need to understand. So simple, I will ask one question. So all we have idea about the generalized animals, right? So may know the significance and the main, uh, uh, what I can say, um, advantage of horse, so everyone can answer this one or Kundan Anurada or Ashok anyone can what is the main benefit of horse some of the animals we have some specifications right like uh, what is the main uh, advantage of horse for fast uh, re for, for reaching fast to destination we can awesome. exactly so just we are expecting some more 
or what I can say, a fastness when we compare to the other animals. Simply, what is the use of donkey? For lifting the, for transporting more weight. Something. Yeah, more weight. So, I need an animal, okay, I need an animal who can uh, run like a horse or moon, that in the same time I need to carry the same weight. Is it possible? Is there any animal uh, available or in the world? No. Not available. Okay, yeah. So, we have an animal called mule, it's a crossbreed of horse and donkey. Parallelly, it will carry the load like a donkey and it will run like a horse. So by taking this advantage only, they have kept the mules of name as a mule. I mean, by taking this consideration only mule. So coming to the technical perspective, compared to the another thing, it will accept the heavy volume of data like lakhs of records. It may be in 10 lakhs, it may be on 1 lakh, it may be on 99,000, it doesn't matter. It will accept the large data. And in meantime, when I see the Amazon also, when I search for any other content, I will get the response in a fraction of seconds. It's not in seconds, fraction of seconds. Simply, if I search for Samsung, the response is getting in two or five minutes, right? I'm really interested to use the Amazon. No, because nowadays it's like a running race for every life. So no, I no need to invest uh, three, four minutes on the, each website for searching the content. So if I get the no fraction of seconds only, I was more interested to buy the things. Similarly, if you are using the integration layer also, in future, if you are getting the large volume of data, in similar way, if you are sending the response in a minimal time only, then it will be an added advantage, added advantage to the any other companies and also integrating with the other projects. So this is the main beauty, the first point. That's the reason it is overcoming Delgobi and Pitco. And second point is, it's uh, costly it is cost friendly i mean uh, if you download the software all this stuff also there is no such uh, uh, paid versions are there it's an open free open source i can say okay uh, any other doubts still know why exactly the mule has been preferring to the uh, in technical terms to the products i is it for an open society uh, sorry, the voice is breaking. I'm sorry. Sorry, the mul software is the message of paid message is there, or you will get the free open source entry. You meant to like asking the question. I mean, I will repeat my understanding. You are asking the uh, software is a paid version or open source, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's an open source only. Uh, if you can see this, we have documented each and everything. Uh, how we need to do is any point studio where we will download the sorry where we will develop our application it's kind of open studio i will share this content to you all guys just you need to click on this one and just you need to proceed these steps it will get automatically downloaded there is no such uh, paid versions are available it's an open source yeah i think for remaining all it's uh, good to go proceed or uh, any doubts yeah, we can proceed. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We can proceed. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, this is the technical. And coming to the business also, we need to understand. So all you are familiar in using the WhatsApp, right? I think in 2016 or 17, I'm not sure. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg has been acquired the WhatsApp from, for, to Facebook. At that time, the remaining all uh, big corporates uh, having a look on why exactly it has been happening. And they are slowly investing in the WhatsApp. So. We have a multiple, uh, what I can say, competitors apart from WhatsApp. Do we have another uh, tool to chat? Yes. Even in the Google Pen, Phone Pen also we can chat. But why only WhatsApp? Right? That, that's like we have habituated. And the business also increased like that. In the similar way, MuleSoft has been introduced in the 2007, I think so. 2007 or 8, I'm not sure. In 2016, Salesforce has acquired. Salesforce has acquired MuleSoft. So at that time, right, the other people slowly starting integrating Mule to their projects. It may be a legacy projects from Bank of America to Standard Charter and the upcoming projects like Reliance as well. They are slowly habituating Mule into their projects and coming to the Mulesoft uh, boom. Uh, 
it may be minimum to minim minimum it may be having to seven to eight years from now and also there is a talk in the mules of like we are getting the new future curve acp anti-code builder and rpa robotics so if that is launched it means so there are no other competitors in the mule to overcome this integration technology so this is all about the mule technical and the business perspective and coming the course content right so yeah course content uh, Yeah, basically coming to the learning perspective, if we are starting our career as a career as a developer, right? Yeah, we have a certification levels of three certifications. One is level one, level two, integration. And coming to the architect level, we have an integration architect and platform architect. So everything we have a vouchers, and also if we have a practice, I mean we have a practice sessions in the training of mules of official website. Once you clear that practice mock test, right, they will only give the vouchers for the level one. If if you want to buy that voucher, it may be on uh, I think in Indian currency it may be on twenty four thousand, but it's in free of cost. Whenever you complete the practice mock session, I will share the link to you as well. Once you complete the course, right, you will get definitely content to clear that exam. Okay, and one more thing, Mule Soft is a very simple content only. It's not a big one, but the more thing is you need to practice and you need to invest your time. Because it's kind of a similar integration only. We have a 90% of integration and 10% 10% of coding. That coding also very simple, but the practice is very very important in the mule. Yeah, this is a. And coming to we have a n number of life cycles and all this stuff. Uh, and yes, as I told you right, these are the softwares that we need to take care in order to develop the mule software. But these two are optional. No need to worry because. In the latest Mule 4 version, these two has been automatically enabled. These two we need to download. As I told you, at any point, studio setup, just now I think for Arun I have shown you. These are the steps we need to follow for developing the code. And coming to the postman, as I told you, it's for testing purpose. These are the things we need to download. I will tell you in the class how to download all these things. No need to worry. Yeah, I'm coming to these things. Uh, generally, MuleSoft interface will look like this. It's kind of a flow. And uh, I think for Purva's question, so yeah, I think I remembered she asked about how to uh, accept the messages or listen the message from the any of the systems that we are sending to MuleSoft by using this listener component. I mean. The listener component does sense. For example, here we have a platform of, uh, I think this is the one training, I think so, right? Uh, just, just a second. So I mean, uh, we need to communicate uh, each other means we need to have our phone numbers or any Zoom link. It's kind of a medium transport, right? Like that. If we, any of the system wants to send the request to the mule software, right? simply we need to form a link. That link, all these things, it will be take care with the listener part. So this listener will listen and it will send it to the next steps as required. But no need to worry on this one. Just I'm giving the high overview. How exactly the mule soft whenever you're starting the development of the code, right? It will look like this. Yeah. It's kind of very handling. It's it's a complete course. Just I'm showing the PPT level for your better understanding how we need to handle. If you can see the one line of coding, right? It's a very, very simple only. All are drag and drop. Just we need to just drag and drop the components like that. No need to worry. For example, if I want to do any error handling, just write the error handling and just drag and drop like this. Sorry, just drag and drop like this. And internally, we need to perform. Internally, we need to write this type of one line coding. That's it. 
it's as I told you, 90% is an integration level only, drag and drop components only. But the magic is you need to know what type of component you need to drag. That you will come across once you turn with the course. But practice is very, very important. Okay. So, yeah. And one more thing. As a developer, right? First of all, what are the activities that we need to do whenever you incorporated or you started as a new soft developer? First, we need to start with the design phase. First, you need to design your APIs. Designing in a sense, the best example I will tell you. If you want to construct this building, you have a sufficient amount and sufficient land. Is it possible to start your work? Any of the uh, any uh, answer? Uh, you have a sufficient land and sufficient amount. Uh, just you can start the worker. Or uh, do we need any other thing that we need to start? We have to plan before. Exactly. So we need to have a design the plan. It's kind of APIs, but we need to design the plan. We need to build a blueprint. Once the blueprint is completed, then we can able to start the construction. Simply, whenever we receive the requirement in order to develop these type of applications, first we need to design. Once the design got confirmed, we need to start the development and testing and deployments. Okay. These deployments, all these stuff, it's kind of advanced level. I will tell you, no need to worry on that. But these three things you need to make sure you need to complete. One is design, development, and manual testing. Okay. So once you're done with the course, right, you can able to clear the MCD level one exam without any doubt. But practice is very important. I'm coming to this one, right? At the end of the course, we can able to give one real-time project as well. I mean, project in the sense I will explain the overview how exactly we need to build based on the requirement in the agile methodologies, how exactly we will get the day to day lifestyle in the software industry and all this stuff. Apart from the course, it's kind of additional one. And also I will support you if you want any other uh, uh, work that you need, even that when you join in a mule on the, these things. Yeah. So any doubts still now uh, or then I mean, uh, the platform is open to you. So I can clear you the doubts if you uh, have any. Uh, Sai, I just have. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, uh, can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sai. Uh, my one doubt I have is uh, like if we have already the integration build on Tipco or any other sort of product, right? Is there any okay. migration kind of uh, features given by Milsoft? Like uh, uh, no. migration features are there, but the thing is from the older version to new version in the mule only. But when the requirement come from another technology, it's for migration. No, we need to build it from the scratch level. Okay, and uh, for the container deployments also, it allows every kind of uh, cloud like OCI, Amazon, Azure, and private clouds also. Are there any? kind of uh, our list of uh, areas where we, we only can deploy something like that? Oh, no, no. I mean, we have a both uh, public and private. So public in the sense, we have a mule hosted runtime and coming to the uh, private cloud. Yes, we have an on premises like uh, Amazon Azure on distance based on the requirement that we came from the projects. For example, if you go for banking domains like prestigious projects like Bank of America, so always they will not trust the other uh, runtime host. They will have their own cloud due to some content. Yeah. For Oracle cloud also it allows that it is allowing like means of we can deploy no OCI. Uh, but mostly, cloud. mostly yeah. But the thing is, uh, yeah, mostly we used to have an uh, on-premises of having this uh, Azure and AWS only. But yeah, I think because till now I didn't get a chance to work for Oracle, but I think it may be supported as well because if we only restricted for AWS and Azure, uh, so there will be not of having a lot of opportunities for the mule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Purva, you can go ahead. Uh, hello? Yeah, Purva, you can go ahead. Okay, uh, Arun, you can go ahead. I think you have some doubts there. Yeah, your CV here is a somewhat kind of request of the Power BI Alpha from Celsius. But the thing is, how it will be a different company because really, it's a great and don't know about it. 
Mr. Kailo is from the first of that in the power PI. And uh, they are also we are writing some of the custom programs in the calculated thing. And they also use the machine to write it. Oh, sorry, your voice is breaking. Sorry, I can't hear you. Let on it. Uh, somewhat better. Yeah, please, could you please come again? Sorry. So, the uh, thing is here, my question is, are you able to hear? Uh, yes, yes, I can, uh, much better. Yeah, yeah please. Yeah. So, my question is here, uh, really, I am not aware about the common part. The thing is, I know in the Tipo Spotify and the Power BI, those kind of. The uh, thing okay. is, uh, uh, how is this is so uh, comparing uh, with the uh, whole stuff? And the thing is there, we have to write some of the uh, calculated fields, so some of the scripts so over there. And here also you said only we can uh, uh, ninety percent of uh, just drag, skip uh, and drag, uh, uh, dragging dragon uh, those uh, dragon those uh, and only nine ten percent only we have to do something some coding in like this. How it will be as compared to you know, Power BI and the uh, post those yeah, I mean, uh, your question. Is, yeah, I can understand. The thing is, uh, coming coming to your uh, whatever the work you have done for, that is, uh, I think, um, that is automated Power BI, but it is completely different around because it's kind of integration tool. Okay, it is. We are having the lot of uh, scope in integrating the different technologies because every time the business will be an up and running only for connecting to the different systems on the based on the new requirements right so yeah as i told you so power bi is a complete different thing it's just a complete platform okay. Thank you. Thank you. no problem can you hear me yeah, yes yes i can hear you now okay um, i'm sorry my voice was breaking and you were not able to hear me uh, oh, no so uh, I what I want to ask is, are we going to cover how to use MuleSoft as an ETL tool? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, see, in the sense, ETL tool in the sense, uh, the, as I told you in the beginning itself, right? Uh, we used to have integration perspective. Mm -hmm. How exactly it is working in the real time? So this is what I'm uh, coming to your additional question of accepting the how we are listening the data and connection establishments and uh, these things we will cover you apart from that we will cover the deployment process as well as well as the agile process how exactly we need to work on the daily basis sounds good thank you yeah no problem yeah please go ahead uh yeah so uh like i have worked in tipco so we have when we install uh tipco software so we have the installation both for the studio and also the administrator like the entire end to end thing so it involves like the development and also uh the installation also uh, like we have a local host or if it's a like a production environment then we have the server where we can deploy uh, I mean, there is an administrator. So how it works for the MuleSoft, what you explained, I saw we have the any point, that's the studio, where we develop the code. And how right. is the process of the de deployment? Like, uh, is there any kind of a, a UI or administrator where we can see that? So if you can explain yes, that part. Exactly. I got your question. So coming to the development phase, as I told you, right, uh, we have any point studio. And coming to your question regarding the deployment process, we have a any point platform. It's not in software, it's kind of an, uh, what I can say is, uh, I think already I have opened this one, uh, just a second. Yeah, somewhere it's, yeah. It's a any point platform, it's a Google, sorry, cloud account. Just you need to type the any point platform, login. If you are a practitioner, it will be free for 30 days. If you are working for the real time, company will provide this type of account for you. So once you open this, tool right i mean it's a software just you can deploy it in the runtime manager options where we have a multiple environments like prod qa dev all this stuff yeah based on your application you can able to hit this one for development we have any point studio for deployments and applying the policies security designing we have a any point platform and in the coming class i will explain you how to install the any point studio and how to sign up for any point platform as well and coming this, I will explain the options like designing, publishing, deployment, applying the policies as well. And apart from that, additionally, we have another tool of Postman, which is used to test our applications while deploying in the prod or QA, I mean, prod or non-prod and in local as well. Yeah, 
I think uh, it's clear for you, right? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. And we will also cover how error handling and how to generate reports in different format. Ah, yes, yes, because we need to, uh, sorry, we will cover the error handling in order to send the customized messages as per the requirements and in the middle of the course. Yeah, first we will start about the how to integrate and how to build and design and all mm -hmm. this stuff. Once the design is done, we will start with the development phase with the one of the real time examples. And once that is done, we will go for the standards because first we will develop the code and later on we will go for the standards how to uh, minimize the code uh, sorry customize the code and later on we will go for the error handling and also we will go for the concept level uh, things what are the types of requirements we may get finally deployment finally m minute testing and one real time scenario perfect thank you yeah no problem yeah malik arjun please tell uh, hi in uh, tipco spotfire uh, we can add a uh calculated columns by using iron python and r scripting in mulsoft also can we add yes 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 we we, we, we used to we can support the java and uh, python in the mulsoft as well but the thing is you no need to worry on uh, writing the java classes for some of the uh, mncs we have a separate team for java just they will share the java classes to you just you need to call the component for example uh, as i told you right we have a java classes which was given by the java developers just you have a components just you need to drag and drop here okay yeah and just we need to call the class name that's it that's it that instance on the class name so whatever the java technicality part that you have covered in the class right it will get invoked in this component okay So, okay, thank what you. about uh, any other doubts? Sorry, yeah. uh, uh, I just have one more doubt. Uh, no, Sai. Uh, sure. Kudan, uh, when it comes to the different types of integration, like uh, MQ or uh, Red Hat AMQ or any other kind of uh, integrations, right? Yeah, yeah. Are there yeah. plugins are uh, already coming with the product or? we need to install our uh, no, uh, is the plugins for no, each kind of uh, integration. So as I told you, uh, I, will, I will see one basic example to you for your question. So first I will close this one project. Okay. Simple, first I will create one mule project, simple one only. It may take only one minute. Just I will make it as a test. Okay. So coming to your question right yeah currently it is an empty because we are not using any of the component but coming to the plugins all it is available in the form.xm if you can see the dependencies currently we have only two which is not related to the any of the queues and any of the database so what i will do is first i will drag and drop one of the let's go for database just i will drag and drop okay but if you can observe in the form.xml, automatically these kind of plugins will. We can see previously it was only two, but automatically okay, it okay. has been. Yeah. Oh, no need of uh, external configuration or. No, no, no need of external configuration. For some, for some uh, components we need to do, but that too also we have a managed. Uh, concept in the mule everything is automated these things will take it just you need to click on next button i mean plus symbol mm -hmm. that's it. okay okay yeah yeah for apache amq or red hat amq do we have any kind of uh, plugin separately available or it's a uh, predefined yeah. one basically mulesoft will support the infinity components which are available in the uh, market but the thing is some of the frequently components that we are using it is currently available in mule palette if you want to add some external things you need to log into the search in exchange and we need to add this apache for example if you can apache kafka connector just we need to add this one here and sorry before going to this one you need to understand first you need to search here like that apache is not available because it is not frequently used but mysql sorry but this thing salesforce it is frequently used that the reason it is available 
But if you want to this add this Apache as well, just you need to log in this one and Apache. And just you need to add it to the, add it to the mule sort. The traditional step you need to do. Once you add the Apache Kafka connector, right, it will get available in the mail ballot. Then you need to select and drag and drop. Simple. And coming to the third step, that plugins will be automatically built in in the backend. That will be take care by the mule. No need to uh, do the additional effort from the developer. For example, as I told you, it has been added now. So if you can see Apache, these type of operations currently they are supporting publishing, consuming, bulk publish, listener, all this stuff. So when you just drag and drop this one, just save it. Yeah, I yeah, understand. Yeah, see Kafka automatically added. Okay. Yeah, any yeah, doubts? Uh, yeah, what about you, Arun and uh, China? Ashok? You have yeah, so I have a doubt here. I have a question here. Sorry. Yeah, please do. Yeah, you are saying here when we will integrate to response like and PLSQL and we will get the data and we, can we see that the data into visualization like in the part of like that? Like that? Uh, you mean to say visual code studio, you asked me? Yeah, so visualization. So once we will integrate with the uh, uh, Snowflake or MySQL or PLSQL anything, so data it will okay. come. So can we see that the data into visualization? Like in bar chart, line chart, this kind of anything. Is it possible here? Ah, no, no. I mean, visualization in the sense I got it. So before sending the data, the transformation you have done, right? That you need to see the response yeah. structure. Yeah, yeah. We can have a. Oh, sorry, we have a, another tools like online tools of data we playground like that. That will get supported. Before sending to that, so we can have a visualization. Yeah. So do we have any example for any visualization that can be shown? Uh, for example, yeah, as I told, correct as I told you, right? Uh, we have a data with playground online tool. So whenever we having this type of data, for example, you can see this type of visualization all these times before do before before sending to the real time. We can play around with this tool. What are the response structures and the requests that we are coming, and what are the transformations that we are doing like that? And also in the code level, while running the code, right, uh, before deployment, uh, we have a debugging option. For everything, we have a uh, visualization in the any point studio in the debugger option. Here we can able to see these things. But if you don't have a time to deploy like this, online tool also, it is available. That is uh, data we play from. So here we can see, uh, we see like a bar line chart. Ah oh, no no I am sure that is no no not available. Yeah, that is completely which will come to the Tableau and Power BI. But the thing is, yeah, in the integration perspective, we don't have that complete setup of live chatting. But we have a tools which will support for the data that you are converting on the as per the expectations on the component level. We can able to visualize in the mule debugger. But uh, yeah, I can understand. But uh, coming to the live chat, that is not available in the mule. Yeah, and I have another question also. So, is there any schedule triggering anything? Is there? Yes, we have a schedule trigger uh, before hitting the manually or before sending the data, right? We have a schedule trigger for automatically if you want to send the data every day 9 a.m. like that. We have a scheduler component. Just you need to drag and drop the scheduler component and you need to make sure the what, what time we need to send in the every time days or hours like that, uh, that start delay time, it will get triggered. On every time automatically. For example, we have a requirement on every time, uh, every day at 9 a.m. only we need to send the data. But why to put the efforts to the developer on setting that particular application and send it to at 9 a.m.? So there may be chance of having missing, right? Uh, so that's the reason we have automated scheduler. Once you schedule that with the 9 a.m., right, automatically it will get scheduled on every time basis. Okay. Uh, is it clear, Arun, or yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, hi, Ashok. Uh, you have any doubts? Uh, hi. Hi, Sai. Yeah. Hi, Ashok. Can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, please tell. I came from another domain. 
will you start this course from beginner level means from basics yeah it's kind of a beginner level to expertise yeah as i told you right in the uh, introduction also i didn't start it directly on the mule soft first i started the basic example once you understand that example i have related with the mule and after the business in a similar way when we start the course also i will start from the business uh, sorry beginner level only once you get what uh, famous how sorry? many days will take to complete course this total course mule soft course uh, it may be on 30 working days or 30 days based on the schedule and the feasibilities because i am always interested to take in weekends as well but some of the students may miss based on their uh, personal commitments like that on sunday and saturday will you provide if recorded could... videos sorry will you share recorded videos recorded content somewhere? yeah recorded videos will be shared by the subos or admin uh, once we get recorded right that is automatically get stored in the uh, uh, hosted system so he will share the content to you on daily basis recorded link so we can access those recorded videos Yes, yes, you can access and you can practice it. That will be taken care by the admin. You can speak with Subbu on that. Okay. He okay. will share daily. Yeah. So what is the timings of this course? Yeah, uh, that we will decide based on the uh, commitment that we have. We will have with Kundan and Radha and the other uh, Purva. And uh, based on that, we can start. Yeah. Basically, it may be in uh, morning only. Yeah. Because some of the persons will have the afternoon shift and morning shift, right? Like that, right? So. Uh, we will decide and let you know okay. uh, with your opinion only. I mean, okay. so, yeah, I have the same question. So, if any uh, beginner level wants to join this course who doesn't have any experience in the coding or any IT knowledge, can also learn this, right? Yeah, first we will target from the business or so beginner level only. Even if we have the complete batch of having a 10 years of experience, also I will start from the beginner only because the main agenda of learning the training is from starting level only. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I think uh, if we are good means we can wind up the session and further discussions you may have with uh, Subhu sir and uh, he will coordinate with you. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you yeah, so thank much. You, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you thank very you. much. Have a good day. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.